impossible for you to say no to these temptations. But I'm here to remind you that all things are possible through the Lord Jesus Christ. All things are possible through the Lord Jesus Christ. So don't rely on your way. Don't use your own wisdom, but use the wisdom of God. Use the wisdom of the Lord to turn away from your sins so that you can repent and enter the kingdom of heaven. You need to understand that repenting of your sins is a qualifier, it's a requirement. The unrepented will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And that's what you guys need to plan for. Don't plan for the Adame Expo these four days. Don't plan what's going to happen after Anime Expo. Don't plan for Anime Expo of next year because your life can be called upon from you today. You can perish today. So you must choose this day who you're going to serve. You must choose this day to repent for your sins. Are you ready to repent? Are you ready to accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your life? Because He's ready for you. Oh, He's been waiting. He's been waiting a very long time for you to come back to Him. He knows what He revealed to you. He knows what He put on your heart. He knows your wicked deeds. He knows what you've said and what you've done. So there's no point in hiding it. No, you must confess it to Him and repent from those wicked ways. Oh, don't you know that God loves you? Don't you know that Jesus loves you? And that they set all this up so that you can be saved. So you don't, you can no longer be condemned to hell fire. That you don't have to go to the place that was designed for the devil and his angels. Are you ready to repent and come back to Jesus today? Are you ready to repent and turn from your sins today? Jesus Christ is waiting for you to turn from your sins and come back to Him. It's not too late. Don't let your friends lead you astray. Do your deeds today, but when you go home, if you make it, go to your closet and pray. Go to your closet and confess your sins. Talk to the Lord, ask Him, why did you send the preacher here to yell at me today? Why did you send the preacher to yell while I'm sitting here at Anime Expo telling me to repent? It's a good question. It might be your last warning. This might be the Lord warning you one last time to repent. Yeah, you never know, you might get called. You might be called back to heaven today. You might be, the Lord might call you back and take your soul right now or today or tomorrow. And this may be the last opportunity He's giving you to warn you to repent of your sins. I tell you what you don't want. I'll tell you what I don't want. I don't want you to end up in hell kicking yourself for all eternity that you didn't listen to the preacher. Kicking yourself for all eternity that you didn't heed God's warning. Kicking yourself for all eternity that you ended up in hell when you had every opportunity to not go. Oh, you don't want that. 
Nobody wants an existence like that of regret and of torment that you heard that the preacher told you to repent and you still didn't do it. That's an awful existence. And that existence will last forever and ever and ever. Your soul is eternal, people, and it's got to go somewhere. And if you don't repent, it's going to hell fire. It's a very dangerous thing. You know what's scary about hell is that it's so unbelievably terrible, we can't even comprehend it as mere mortals, as mere human beings. But that doesn't change the fact that it exists. That doesn't change the fact that it's real. It doesn't change the fact that that's where you're going to go if you don't repent for your sins. So turn from your sins today, people. Turn from this wicked generation that tells you homosexuality is something to be proud of, that tells you transgenders is something to be proud of, that tells you that fornicating and being whores and whoremongers is something to be proud of. That tells you that doing drugs and killing people is something to be proud of. That getting into fights and getting drunk is something fun and to be proud of. These are all lies from the devil. These are all lies to deceive you into hell fire with the devil and his angels. So the Lord sent the preacher out to warn you. The Lord sent the preacher out to say, hey, this is it. This is your last warning to repent. This is your last warning to come back. Come back to your common sense. Come back to the Lord Jesus who love you. Come back to the God who created you. It's time to repent and come back. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what happened to you in the past. What matters is who you are now. What matters is are you right with the Lord now? Oh, put yourself into perspective. Put yourself in a humble position Step into the light and see yourself in truth. And if you see sin, if you see wickedness, I implore you to repent of it. I implore you to turn from your wicked ways. It's an urgency, people. It's a very urgent thing because you don't know when you're going to go. You don't know what's going to happen today or tomorrow. Death can come upon you suddenly. Death can come upon you like a thief in the night. And you can scream and cry all you want saying, that's not fair. I didn't know that car was coming. I had no idea I had a blood clot. I had no idea there was going to be a mass shooter today. I had no idea that some, some crazy person with a knife was coming. He came from behind. I didn't know I was gonna die today. That's not fair. I didn't get a chance to repent. God tells you now is the time to repent. There won't be any excuses on judgment day when God tells you now is the time to repent. Now is the time to turn from evil and learn to do good. Are you doing good? Are you doing what the Lord commands of you to do? Are you being obedient to the Lord?
Oh, you better make sure. You better open your Bibles and make sure you're doing right. You better open your Bibles and make sure you're obeying His commandments. You better make sure. Unless you stumble. Don't stumble walking blindly. Walking a slave to your sin. Don't let your sin find you out. Stop your sin before it's too late. Turn to Jesus Christ today. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. The only mediator given to you by God so that you may be saved. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn from your fornication. Turn from your drunkenness. Turn from your drug use. Oh, come on, guys. I know some of you went to church when you were little. How did you end up a whore today? <laughs> How did you end up a lesbian today? If you went to church when you were little, how did you end up a dyke today? How did you end up the filthy homosexual? How did you end up the confused transgender? How did you end up the nasty drunkard? How did you end up the wicked pervert? Oh, how did you end up the drug user? If you knew God, I know some of you went to church. I know some of you know what the Bible is. How did it end up to where you became a sinner? Where did it all go wrong? I, I need you. The Lord needs you to humble yourself to that fact. The Lord needs you to come back to him and repent uh, from your sins. Uh, I, I will in a minute. <laughs> Lord wants you to turn from your sins. <laughs> Lord wants you to do... Watch your step. Yep. It could happen just that easy. Yeah. One trip and fall and that's your life. Yeah. And if you die that way, there's going to be no telling God, oh, I didn't have a chance to repent. I didn't know I was going to slip. I didn't know that car was coming. I didn't know I was about to get attacked and robbed from behind. It's not fair I died. I didn't see it coming. No, the Bible tells you that death will come upon you like a thief in the night. That you got to be ready. The Bible says it's a blessing for saints to die. But woe unto the sinner who dies and ends up in hell fire. Guys, let's be real. Let's be adults here. We all know that we're going to die one day. No Dragon Ball is going to bring you back. Okay? There's going to be no coming back from the dead. There's going to be one time where you die and then the judgment What's the, what's the Lord going to say about your life? What's God going to say about your life? Is your life going to be written in the book? Or will it be blotted out? Because you refused to repent. Because you refused to do what was right. I'm letting you know now, while you're still alive, while you're still kicking, you can still repent. You can still turn from your wicked ways. You can, you can still turn from your evil deeds. Somebody lost a shoe. <laughs> but when you die, that's it. When your soul is called upon from you, that's it. There's going to be no, I'm sorry. There's going to be no, I'll do it right this time. It's going to be judgment. But Jesus died 
to give you a fair shake. Jesus died so that you don't have to pay that price. The price that you deserve, the price that I deserve. Jesus died to give you a way out of that. Are you going to accept that gift? Are you going to accept the mercy that God has given you? Or are you going to continue in your iniquity? I hope you choose the latter. I hope for your sake you choose the latter. I, ch I hope for your loved one's sake that you choose the latter. Oh, won't you choose life? The Bible says that the devil comes to lie, steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Choose this day who you will serve. Who are you going to serve today? Are you going to serve the Lord or are you going to serve the devil? Only one of them has your best interest in mind. And if you know that God has your best interest in mind, it is in your best interest to obey the Lord. It is in your best interest to do what the Lord tells you to do. And the Lord tells you to repent. The Lord tells you to turn from your whorish ways. Lord tells you to turn from your whoremongering. Lord tells you to turn from your fornication, your homosexuality, your feminism, your drug use, your lesbian acts, your murderous heart, and your contrite heart. It's not a game, people. It's not a game. You must repent or you will perish. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. If you don't turn from your sins, you are gonna end up in the lake of fire. Not gonna be popping wheelies in hell. Fire's gonna be popping you around like wood in the fireplace. But you don't have to end up there. You can turn from your wicked ways. There's still hope. Don't let the devil lie to you and tell you it's too late. There's still hope. But you gotta come to the Lord with a humble heart. You have to come to the Lord with a humble and broken and meek heart. Oh, a lot of you, a lot of you have a seared conscience. A lot of you have a hardened heart. And I get it, it's because you've been betrayed. Oh, you've been betrayed, you've been hurt. Oh, he cheated on you. Oh, she lied on you. Oh, you weren't treated right. And so you harden your heart and you tell yourself, that it's okay for your wicked deeds. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of stuff, right? Through your past. But see, you're not going to be held responsible for the sin of others. You're going to be held responsible for your sins. This flag is very hard to maintain. I don't want to do that. You are not responsible for your father's sins or your mother's sins. You are, are you are responsible for your sins. You have to work out your salvation with the Lord on your own. You have to turn from your sins. You have to seek out the Lord and repent for your sins. 
Nobody else can do it for you. If you're a homosexual, nobody can repent for you being a homosexual but you. Nobody can repent for your drunkenness but you. No one can repent for your fornication but you. No, you must look at your deeds. You must make sure you're right with the Lord. Bible says, take the plank out of your eye before you can take the speck out of your brother's eye. Oh, is that plank still in your eye? Are you still in your iniquities? Are you still in your sin? Are you still confused on what God wants you to do? Are you still having sex outside of marriage? Are you still having lesbo and lesbian relations? Are you still committing nasty, filthy, homosexual acts? Are you still lying to people and telling them that they're a gender that they're not? Are you still getting into fights? Are you still trying to be popular with the world instead of doing right by God? Are you, st God bless you. Are you still in your pride? Are you still worshiping idols, worshiping your waifus instead of worshiping God? Worshiping your figurines instead of worshiping God. Oh, you're in a dangerous place. You're in a dangerous place in your sins. You're in a dangerous place in your sins if you don't repent. God's calling for you. God's calling for you right now to turn from your sins. It's not going to do you any good to stay in these wicked deeds. Jesus came to this world to give you proper edification, to give you the belief and understanding that you can repent for your sins. Oh, he told the horse, he told the horse to go and sin no more. He told the homosexuals to go and sin no more. He told the, the thieves, the killers, the murderers. He said, go and sin no more. And that's what it's time for you to do before a worse thing comes upon you. Oh, the homosexuals, they're going to catch HIV. They're going to catch HIV and AIDS, these homosexuals. Oh, the transgenders. They're going to get diseases, mutilating themselves. The drunkards, you're going to get liver disease. It's time to repent. God gave you these commandments not because he hates you, but because he loves you. Because he wants you to turn away from that which is destroying you. I'm here to tell you, your sin is destroying you, man. You lesbians, you're destroying yourselves. You filthy homosexuals, you're destroying yourselves. You nasty fornicators, you're destroying yourselves. You drunkards and you drug users, you're destroying yourselves. Those with unforgiving hearts and murderous intent, you're destroying yourselves. God does not want anyone to perish but for all to come to repentance. He wants you to come back. He wants you to turn from your sins, guys. He wants you to stop this pride, this homosexuality, this transgenderism, this idolatry, this effeminism, these sodomites. Oh, you must repent. 
I was no better than you. I was a nasty sinner just like you guys. I had to repent too. I had to turn from my sins as well. And that's what the Lord is calling for you to do. The Lord's calling for you to turn away from your wicked, day, wicked deeds. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready to answer to the Lord? To answer to Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to warn you. If, it, if you're not ready, you better get ready. If you're not ready for your soul to be called upon, you better get ready. Because it's going to come. One day you're going you're gonna to have to die. One day, all of us has to go. But it's the Christians, it's the those who believe in the Lord, who are truly ready. Oh, it's a blessing, the Bible says. It's a blessing for saints to die. But woe unto the sinners. Woe unto the sinners who die in their sins because they're going to end up in hell fire. Lord doesn't want that. Oh, he doesn't want you in hellfire. No, no. Lord wants you to repent. Lord wants you to turn from your sin. The Bible says that it is not God's will for anyone to perish. And perish in the Bible, guys, it means, it, it, it means going to hell. It means ending up in hell. And God doesn't want you to go there. That's not his will. That's not what he made God for. But man, he has rules. He has rules and regulation for his kingdom. He's not gonna let just anybody in his house. Who's gonna be let in? The saints. Who's gonna be let in? The repentant, the meek. The children, God's children, are you a child of God? I want you to look at yourself this weekend and ask yourself, am I a child of God? Am I a child of God in my actions? Am I a child of God in my deeds? Am I a child of God in my words? Oh, goodness. I'm ready to pack it up. The Bible says to choose this day who you're going to serve that a man a man cannot serve two masters. You can't be a pervert and be a man of God. You can't be a homosexual and be a man of God. You can't be a lesbian and be a man of God. Say so what? You can't be foul mouth either and be a woman of God. Why do you say that? You can. You can? The Bible says you can be whoever you... Really? Does it? Absolutely. Wow, either you can't read or you've never read the Bible. It's uh, one or the other. There are plenty of people who are out there who are gay, lesbian, and everything. And none of them are going to heaven unless they repent. I mean, huh? Heaven's not real. Huh? Oh, but you just gave this, you just gave the standard for heaven, and now you're saying that it's not real? You're yeah, just a liar. You you're, you're just a liar. All those nasty you sinners judge. when you don't know any of us. Cause you, well, she's a nasty sinner. I don't know you. And I know she's a nasty you sinner. Yeah, you don't know her. That's what, that's what I do know her. I know her by her first. She's a liar and she's foul mouth. She's going to hell if she doesn't okay, repent. Sir, yeah, I know you. Go God knows you. Goodbye. God knows you sir, even more. Sir, sir, We're done with that. Let's okay, then stop talking. God bless you guys. I'm not here to condemn you. 
If you're a foul-mouthed woman, you can repent. If you're a loud-mouthed woman, you can repent. If you're a nasty whore, you can repent. Okay, I was much like you guys. I've, I've committed thousands and thousands of sins. I was a horrible person. But guess what the Lord requires of you? He requires you to repent. He requires you to turn from your sin. God does not like a loud mouth woman. God does not like a woman who runs her mouth off that curses. Bible says it's witchcraft. And that's what I see from a lot of women out here. A lot of nasty women dressing like harlots, covered in tattoos, screaming and cursing and lying from their filthy mouths. Bible says it's not what goes in the mouth that defiles you, but what comes out of it. What's coming out of your mouth this weekend, guys? Nastiness, filth, cursing, lies. That's how we know. That's how we know you're lost. That's how we know you're of the devil. But listen, we're not your enemies here. And even if you're our enemies, we're told to bless you. We want you to be saved. We want you to repent. But you got to humble yourself. Oh, you ladies, you ladies need to learn your place. You women need to learn your place. Bible says it's a beauty for a woman to dress in modesty. Are you being modest, women? Or are you walking around nasty, looking for perverted eyes to lay upon you, looking for perverted cameramen to get some money off of them? Don't be nasty. Don't whore yourselves like that. God made you precious. God made you in his image. Bible says a woman should be meek and silent. Let's go there. Fortunately, you can be passing those pillars as long as you're passing those pillars. Should be fine. I'll be on that side right there. Should be fine. Too. So why are these guys okay? Oh. These guys walking through. You're here protesting, right? I'm not protesting anything. What are you doing? I'm practicing free speech. I'm allowed to talk, right? It's my free first amendment. That's right. Free speech. There's no, there's no such thing as a free speech. It's private property. Private property. Yeah. There's no. Free Once speech. you're playing those pillars, that's cool. Okay. Oh, you. Okay. Can you show me where it says that? Is uh, my, my, I'm Brian, by the way. I'm just showing my friend, bro. I just do okay. Are you guys security or police? Yeah, we're security. Yeah, security. Go ahead and call the cops, because I don't. I don't think you guys know what you're talking about. Go ahead and call the cops, because those are your barriers. It says no, right, there. right there. Right there. The barriers to maintain the line. These are the barriers right here. Okay. Well, can you can you show me where your property line on on your map? I just told you. No, no, no. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about where the event paid for it. Where the event paid for it? Yeah, you guys have a map. Correct, you said we're the event, the right? Event. We're not property. We're in this is where house You're from the property? Yeah. We're here we're for, for the, part of the property. Yes. Okay, and the property is this area? This whole, this whole thing, yes. Okay, all right, so so you're telling me that, that everyone else can walk here, but not me. Why well, is that? Yeah, you're here. Like you say, you're here uh, for free speech, right? No, no, no. I'm he Okay. Doesn't everyone have freedom of speech? Oh, yeah, but like they're here speech. for the event. You're here like you're advocating here what you protest. Want. Okay, how do you how do you know who's here for the event? Let me ask you that. You see anybody carrying any banners? So what? How do you know? You no, no, that's not what I'm asking you. Not how I'm do you? you do you see anybody? You're not listening to me. These guys who, have biggest events. Who? I'm asking you politely. Calm down, guys. Mm -hmm. How do you know who's here for the event and who isn't? Uh, we know they're here for it man, as soon as it crosses those walls. Okay, but I didn't cross those walls. You didn't, but you're okay. inside our property. Okay, so, I, like, I so you, yeah. where's your property manager? Why don't you call him up? Property manager? Yeah, because he's the only one that really has the authority to throw me off. You got to have somebody. You got to have a supervisor somebody. Is he going to say the same thing? Well, good. Let him come out here and tell me. Let him come out here and tell me. Call him out here. It's a woman, sir. Huh? Call the woman out here. It's all right. It don't matter. Call the woman out here. It's very scary. Huh? Very scary. That's fine. Scary. My God's scary. Oh, I have the same guy. Huh? I love that guy. Who? What? God. You love God? Love him. All right. Well, stop standing in his way, man. Is she on her way? All right. God, God bless you guys. I appreciate it. You're not trying to cause trouble. No, but you good. All right. I'm just saying, it seems like you're being discriminatory. Cause no, they give orders, we go. Okay. I just want to make sure you guys are doing your orders right. All right. I, I understand I'm not a part of the event, and I don't want to be like in the event. 
but uh, as far as from what I can see, there's tons of people who are in the event and they're just walking around freely. Yeah, like I said, it's just going to answer the same thing. And there's no, there's no barriers. Uh, those don't count as barriers because they're not blocking anything. And there's no sign that says no trespassing. So I don't know where you're well, getting this from. Like a public event, as long as you have a ticket, you go inside. Well, I'm not going go inside. I, but that's that's what I'm saying. Your barriers are right there. Those gates, those, those are barriers. Are those are for the event. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. But now you're saying the property. The property yeah, is well, is the is the pro is the pro is the property public Careful. property? Careful. Yeah, it's um, I'm sorry. Property. It's private and public. No, this is just private. Once on the other side of those barriers, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're good. You're good. Like I said, yeah. you could stream all your okay. movies. Okay. As, like, as, street as long as you don't pass all this. Well, th well, that's what I need to understand, right? Because it seems like out of everyone walking around, like yeah. that guy and that guy and that guy, you guys just singled me out and well, said that I... disturbing people. I'm not Holy disturbing anyone. Me talk... Uh, this isn't disturbing anyone. You're waving at some preaching about God. Yeah, that's not... That's not uh, really uh, disturbing. you doing that like, out there in the streets, but like, once you into private property, that's why they don't want you. Is know, that right? a rule? Is that a rule sitting somewhere uh, that I can't do that? Well, you got to yeah, show it to me. That's why I asked for the lady. Yeah, yeah. Because it's getting kind of iffy. It seems like you're uh, religiously discriminating against me. No, no, no. I well, I just want to make sure. Okay. All right, I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, you What about these guys? These guys are. No, they're also awesome. not allowed. Yeah, they're not allowed. That's why we push them back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're like passing, passing over the. And they they're, over but there. see, they're vendors, right? They're, yeah, they're yeah. selling something, so that makes sense. So but me, I'm, pass that as well. They're fine. But me, I'm just talking. I'm not doing anything to disturb anyone. I'm just talking. I'm just preaching the gospel, man. I'm just talking and proclaiming my voice. And uh, we have the freedom to do that. Uh, I understand. Like, huh? Is it like just to promote the religion or like kind of like define what's going on here? Because that's no. what most people come here for, like kind of to define it. The, the, the preachers that come here, because I'm one of them, right? We don't come to defy this, okay? Yeah. We come to warn people of their sins so that they can repent. Like, we're, we're on the people's side. We're, we're not against them or uh, anything. We're against sin. But as far as I can see, I don't think there's anything sinful about anime. I, what's sinful is what the people do when they're in there and, and how they uh, how they act before they even uh, So really, we just come here for the crowd. It's a big crowd, so we come so that everybody can hear us. But we don't want to break any laws. We don't want to step any toes. But we do want to stand firm in... Uh, yeah, and yeah. what we believe is uh, is right for us to do. Yeah, we have a bunch of tours. Okay. A bunch of you guys coming in. Probably yeah. Tomorrow. I'll, definitely I mean, tomorrow. I came here early because I, I made this banner and I was like, man, I'm too excited to not use it. I was going to say, I, it was different <laughs> from like the usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're a new generation of Christians. So, you know, I, I relate to this crowd. So I made this myself. Yeah. So, uh, what's the name of this building, the stadium? The Convention Center. The Los Angeles Convention Center. Los Angeles Convention Center. Yeah. And is it paid for by taxpayer money, or does somebody own it? Uh, honestly, I really don't know. I know the city. No, owns it. I know. It's the city. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, was, you was said city. city. It was city. It was it used to city. Be like a police station, but not anymore. Okay. So it's like out of city. Uh, it's privately owned by a guy who owns this in crypto. So who owns it? Uh, the guy who's a really rich guy who owns this in crypto. He bought this place out. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, that's it. Is it still called the Los Angeles Convention yeah, Center yeah, after it's been bought? Because I know that used to be called the Staples Center, and now yeah, it's called a dumb crypto.com. Oh, I'm like, why did you leave that com yeah. in it? That makes it sound so awkward. Have you seen the LA Live? What are they going to call it? What are they going to call it? Uh, Peacock Theater. No! <laughs> Peacock Theater. Yeah, That's such a dumb Peacock. name. Oh, yeah. Was like uh, the streaming service? No, for LA Live. Yeah, the streaming service. Peacock. Man, I guess when you have money, you can name it whatever you want. <laughs> We're just glad they haven't changed this one. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Oh, man. That's cool that you made that yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I used to be, uh, well, I still kind of am. I'm an anime artist. So I actually do mangas and anime commissions and stuff like that. I used to draw hentai because that made me tons of money. But I repented and turned towards the Lord, and so now I don't do that anymore. Now I draw for Jesus. And I'm still good at it. If anything, I'm a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I did. I'm telling you, I was really good at it too. Are these your guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. I appreciate your help today, guys. Right, I appreciate it. How are you doing, sir? Good. My name is Brian. Nice to meet you. Horatio. Horatio. And you are? Diana. Diana. Okay, so which one of you guys are the representative of the building? We both are. We both you are. both are? Yes. Who's higher? We both, we both are. You're both on equal footing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your position title? We're supervisors for the building. Supervisor. You're supervisors for the building. Okay. So these fine young men, no problem with them. They stated that, uh, uh, that I, I wasn't allowed to walk around on this side yeah. and, and, and I'm wondering why that is if everyone else is allowed to walk around here okay so how do I put that the words since you're portraying let's not assume you yeah, can ask yeah. me okay, what I'm yeah, doing so you're portraying something right that's not allowed uh, protocol. so you're saying that Christians aren't allowed no on no not saying Christians aren't allowed so, oh, wait, wait, just wait for that to go because yeah. I can't. You're wait. displaying something, right? And our protocol says don't have protesters. I'm not protesting. Yeah, yeah, but you're still like, you're, you're displaying something. Right? So it says I'm not allowed to display things? Yeah. Well, you are. You are just not here in this vicinity, right? So if I wore a shirt that displayed something, you could throw me off for that? No. no. Well, that's, what I'm, that's where no, the confusion lies. You have a big banner. So you're saying banners aren't allowed? Yeah. Oh, you can, can be you, here, can no problem. Your specific propaganda, your specific um, poster. Which your is, banner, okay? which is, can because you? Because it, like everyone else is respecting that they're like, hey, it's their own personal because this is a specific event. Yeah. You know, they're deciding. And I'm respecting want, that too. They, I'm not, I'm not in any, I, I'm not they in any one in this specific area because this is what they've rented out, right? Okay, okay. So just because, like, no disrespect, we know what you're. Um, speaking about right uh, we, just, we just don't want you in this specific area okay what i'm what i'm asking is who is saying that and why because it's a private property and it's a special event okay but so, who okay who is saying that is that the property manager saying that or is it just you guys well, well this is what they want okay can you show me where it says that because i don't see any signs that says no trespassing or no christian things or no banners i don't see anything like that that's out here i just see an open space now I see barriers there so I know not to go past there but I don't there's no barriers here so as far as what I can see and as, as far as everyone else walking and sitting through here this seems to be public access and public property yeah so it is public property Private property. Well, see that no, because he was about to say public, and now you're no, saying it's public and private. Well, can you, okay? But it's private property because it's being rented out right now. You okay, who's it, so Anime Expo is renting it out, yeah. right? It out. So let me make sure of this. Let me. I just want to make sure we're clear on this. Anime Expo is renting this out, so it is now private property. Okay, but. Open it's open to the public. To the public. Well, I'm a I'm a part of the public. I'm not doing anything to disturb anyone or make anyone upset. I'm just walking around and and using my free speech and and, and I'm talking to people, right? So what I don't understand is that if everybody's allowed to do that, why am I being singled out and told to leave? Right. Where's everyone else? Uh, like okay. So these guys. They're not wearing badges. They're not a part of the event. Uh, these guys over here, I don't see any badges on these guys. As you can see, the vendors are they're behind, behind our builders. They're behind our builders. If we were behind our builders, we would be fine. Yeah. Okay, but these, these guys aren't. But these guys aren't. Are they a part of the event? You can see that they're red and they have their... I don't see any badges on them. You can see that they are... I don't see... They're, they're what? You can see that they're carrying their anime expo booklet, right? What? You can see they're carrying the Anime Expo booklet. So if I had an Anime Expo booklet, I, I could just walk in? Well, I'm just saying, not anybody. Is he not welcome here either? No, I'm saying it's it's back down. Okay. Is he making a complaint against me? I'm just saying, you know, we're... He's trying to respect every, uh, you know, our rules. And so am I. I'm just, I, he's you're just, just wondering why you're still here in this area. Yeah, because we're making it clear, we're, we're trying to respect okay. everyone, and the, they, they see, you know. Okay. So here's, here's again what I'm saying, yeah. right? There's people here yeah. that 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 don't have passes, mm -hmm. and are walking past these points, 
okay? I can understand the people who do have passes and they're, and they're walking past this point, but there's people here that I'm looking at right now who, who aren't displaying passes. And, and I don't see security and I don't see you guys coming out and saying, you have to stand behind that. Well, we're enforcing the rules right now. I'm sorry? We're enforcing the rule right now. But only against me. Are you gonna enforce oh, it no, to everyone else? No, we're, they're, they're here. we've been know, doing it the whole day. Well. We've been doing it the whole they day. They know that as well. We're mm -hmm. not singing you out. We've been doing it on that side, this side, and the other side. Okay. Yeah. Well, here, here's what I was asking the security guards, yeah. and, and, and maybe you guys can get it. When they rent out this property, they show, or you guys display to them before they buy it, because I know it's different prices depending. They show what, where the property line is yeah. for the public and for their private event because i understand that this is public property just because they put an event here doesn't make public property any less public yeah. it only makes it private for the area that they rent it out now i see gates i see borders to where that's private okay i can't go in there i'm not fighting that but there's nothing out here so can you go and and talk to your manager or whoever bought the event or rented out the event yeah. the plans that show exactly where the property line is and, and i'll heed to it yeah is it okay if you guys can fetch that for me do you want to see the actual property line property that they line? rented we, we can't we won't show you be doing well that. then i don't know we well then how am okay, i supposed to know i'm gonna ask you something in a non-disrespectful way sure well, go ahead why are you doing this huh why are you filming everything we're talking about? Because it's my legal right. Yeah, yeah we know that, but why? Well, then that's why. Do you go to every facility and do the same thing? Yeah, I go everywhere yeah. and do it. Do you yeah. get joy out of it? Huh? Do you get joy out of it? Do I get a joy out of it? Yeah. Yeah. Look, right now, all we're asking to is that yeah. you step you back. You step forward, then we're leaving. We're, 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 we're not telling you not yeah. to show you, your, your okay. beliefs okay. or anything. I respect that. I For our property okay and per request okay we can't have you in this area and i'm not like, in that like, area i'm in this yeah. area where area. that, that yeah. is public As you can see you're not the only one we ask to respect those boundaries mm -hmm. you have people behind you okay what about that guy you, you are you gonna hassle people? that guy i don't see any badge on why that are you guy. pushing other people huh? why are you talking about other yeah people? why are you pushing other people because i'm showing your hypocrisy is, is that your own thing though huh? you have a big banner or something a banner is not illegal yeah we respect, we respect yeah, yeah. Your, your religion. Well, your belief, well, here, here's here's what I'm gonna ask. If I if I if I refuse to right. leave this, from what I understand, is public property. Uh, what's gonna happen? It's not public property. Private property. Right? Well, you told me. Well, you told again. We agree that that's private because it's rented. Private property. Okay, it, this private property is owned by the city. Okay. Right? This, all this is owned by. You could be on the sidewalk over there, and we leave uh -huh. it just fine. That's fine. Like, be on the sidewalk, we're okay. We won't bother. Well, you. listen, I, 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 I. I know if, you're not trying to be difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you're just trying to get your own solution. Do you want to hear a lengthy explanation? No, I just and want a clear one. Make this longer and I just want. I just. I, I just want. That? No, I don't. Well, all this you're asking. You're doing, but what Am we I, do want you and all we respectfully is that you please understand that we can't have you in this specific space. Am I allowed to say just no? Just like everybody else that's right behind you. Like these guys. Like them. these guys behind you. Right. Like this guy that doesn't for have a badge. Purpose, for your purpose, sir. From what is my purpose? For your purpose. What is because, my purpose? Again, if you had, you know, a permit or something. I don't need that, a hey, permit for what I'm doing. Here. I don't need you a permit for what I'm doing. And you're talking and speaking with people. Ma'am, ma'am, like, okay, hey, ma I don't need a permit so cool. to speak with people. So this is America. Cool. I have free speech. Unfortunately, in this part of the event. I'm not in your event. Your event is over there. I'm over here. Well, and I'm an expert on everything here. Okay. Well, show me the property line. We can't, we can't show you that. Why not? You, go to the city hall and they'll happily show it to you. No, go, you guys have it. Go to the city hall. You guys have it. Otherwise, no, how would you know where it is? Then, then I'm saying, go to the city hall. You, then, you'll then you're not proving there. anything. Huh? For all I know, you could be lying. Why would we be lying? I don't know. Why would you lie? When you could just show me the proof. See, I'm getting that they can enjoy all of this. Okay. You enjoy the well, it, it doesn't seem, enjoy the it doesn't seem like we're in all due respect, and I appreciate you guys speaking with me. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. So what's going to happen if I stay on this public property? Well, may or may not if, get LAPD involved. Okay. Then, well, you're you're free to call. May or may not. So you're you're free to call LAPD. Yeah. Right. You know, you're free to call. I understand your, your, what you're trying to talk about. I really do. Oh. We're just letting you know you can't be here. You refuse. All right, you're refusing. No, no, I'm not refusing. No. Don't worry, we no. understand. No, because you're, you're, 
you're no, because you're making it. Move your boundary. You know, obviously there's boundaries. So, so if you refuse, thank you. I didn't refuse. Uh, well, I didn't refuse. We're gonna go ahead I, I'm, I'm stating that I'm not on your property. I understand. I understand. No, you. now you're not even listening. You can. So, you have to stop talking. I'm gonna go ahead. You can and stop. That you can. You can I stop talking, it. woman. Thank you. I'll go ahead and let him. Stop talking, woman. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Turn from your sins. Repent from your sins. Jesus Christ came to save you, to let you know that you can be forgiven from your evil deeds and your wrongdoing. That Jesus came not to condemn the world, but to save it. Oh, he doesn't want you. He doesn't want you to be caught up in hellfire because you refuse to repent. 